I'm a network administrator and I work for routercoach.com. We have several different network devices that are all managed by me and my colleagues and all adhere to the same network policy. We would say that this is a single autonomous system, which I'm going to call an AS. Now, imagine that I wanted a certain file from a different organisation. They have their own devices with their own network policies. We need a way to be able to communicate with them and their AS. Very rarely do two ASs communicate directly. Rather, they connect to an internet service provider, who in turn may connect with several different internet service providers before getting to the destination AS. This is basically the internet and BGP is the routing protocol of the internet. Whereas OSPF, ISIS and RIP are considered IGPs because they only work within an AS, BGP is an exterior gateway protocol because it operates between ASs and it is the only EGP currently in operation. It uses TCP port 179 and there are two flavours of BGP, eBGP which operates between autonomous systems and iBGP which can actually operate within an AS. BGP is ideal for routing between ASs because it is not looking for the shortest path like an IGP, but it is looking for the best path between ASs, and this can be controlled via BGP routing policy. We're going to run a basic configuration for BGP, and I know I said there were two flavours of BGP, but we're going to concentrate initially on eBGP, which is the external version, and we'll have a look at iBGP a bit later on. So this is a topology that we're going to be using. We've got customer A and customer B. Customer A is in AS4, customer B is in AS123. Customer A will have a loopback address of 4.4.4.4 and customer B will have a loopback address of 6.6.6.6. And I've got these two routers open but they don't actually have any configuration on them. Well, Well, they do have configuration but I've only done the IP addressing at the moment. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so I've got the loop back and the main address. If I do a pipe and say match inet, that might be a bit better for us to see and I should be able to ping customer A directly connected address but I shouldn't be able to ping the loop back so I could ping the directly connected address okay customer A has the loop back of 6.6.6 so let me just see if I put the 4.4.4 on customer B before we have duplicate addresses. Yeah, and customer B has 4.4.4.4. No problem, it's just that the loopbacks are the other way around. Let's see if we could ping 6.6.6.6, which we cannot. Right, so we're going to do some basic BGP configuration. I'm going to jump back on customer A. And the first thing that we want to do, we want to configure our autonomous system. And this is done under the routing options. Edit routing options. Set autonomous system as four. And then what I will do, I will configure the actual protocol. And when you're configuring BGP, you have to actually configure a group for these BGP peers. So I will say set group, I will call it router coach customer, customer A. I need to put some additional parameters. Under this customer, I will say type. And then we have a choice of our type. We could either say internal or external. This is going to be an external type. What I will do, I will just put all of the parameters under the group. 
So I'll just change this to edit group. And we've done the type external. We need to say what the neighbor address is. So set neighbor as 172.20.20.2. And we also need to specify what autonomous system the neighbor is in. One, two, three. And that's it for BGP configuration. Very simple, very straightforward. I'm going to commit that. Now if I say run show root protocol BGP, we see nothing at the moment. We could also have a look to see run show BGP summary and I expect to see the same thing. We will cover this a bit later, but active is not good. That does not mean that um, it is operational. We'll cover this in the next video. And we're receiving, but we can see that um, this is our peer. This is the AS that we've configured for the peer, the peer address, and we're not receiving any routes and it's actually down at the moment. And the state is active. We want to see that the state is established so let's do the configuration on router b i'll expand this as well guys i have a request from you if you're enjoying the free content i'm looking to increase my subscriber count to 4,000 subscribers by june but i can only do that if you give me the play special do you want to know what the play special is press like and yeah subscribe okay back to the video Edit routing options, set autonomous system as one, two, three. Customer B, set type as external, set the neighbor as one, seven, two, dot, twenty, dot, twenty, dot, one and we're going to set our peer as as four run show bgp neighbors no neighbors at the moment let's commit that and then have a look again run show bgp neighbor and we can see that we have a neighbor at the moment even though our state is still active at the moment it'll probably take a while for that to come up we can see that our peer is configured as 172.20.20.1 in AS4. Our local is 172.20.20.2 in AS123. And it's an external type. And, and it's transitioned. It was idle. And it's now transitioned to active. And if I run that again, we can see that it has now transitioned to established. Which is what we want to see. A better way to actually see that is if we say run show BGP summary. And the fact that we don't have an active state here means that it is up, but we're not receiving any routes. We'll advertise our loopbacks into BGP and make sure that we've got some routes. And the way to advertise um, any routes into BGP is via policy. I will do that on router customer B. Say top, edit, policy options, policy statement. We're going to call it BGP connected. Set term one from protocol. And we're only going to advertise our directly connected routes. And then we're going to say set term one then accept this is not all we actually need to now advertise that policy into bgp edit protocols bgp um, from our group which is called i'll just press r and tab set export bgp connected that should be it 
commit. Now, when I run over to customer A now, and I run this same run show BGP summary, press enter, and we can see that now we have one route which is advertised via BGP. There's actually two routes, but I will, if I can remember the command, I think it is run show root. Is it something like this? Receive protocol. Receive protocol BGP. Oh, and then we put the neighbor address, which is 172.20.20.2. And you can see that we've only received one of these routes via BGP. The other route, even though it was advertised from the direct, it's been received, run show route. We can see that it has a better preference because it's a directly connected route. Only one of these routes is put as a best path in BGP. All right, this is just a very quick overview. We're going to look at this in a lot more depth in the upcoming videos. I'd like to thank you for viewing and let's crack on with the next video. Question one, what port does BGP use? Question two, what are the two types of BGP? Question three, the, BG be the BGP best path selection between ASs can be controlled via Question four, what level of the hierarchy should you be at to configure your ASs for basic BGP configuration? Question five, what configuration completion is used for setting the BGP AS to external or internal? 